Okay, um, so Yana was just sharing um, with me some of the um, things that she go through when she was going through the ketogenic diet and one of the key, I think, uh, main thing that helps you be successful in ketogenic is actually um, support and from not family, just from family, good. from friends, from mm. your environment. Um, it's not easy uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from a like because I'm a diabetic, so I'm speaking from a diabetic point of view. Like when I started to do keto, even people who are diabetic <laughs> was <laughs> against it because everybody was like, oh, you need carbohydrates, you need to eat rice, otherwise your body will go into shock, <laughs> um, you will not have the energy, or like when I was fasting, I was doing uh, intermittent fasting, like Monday, Thursday, or Monday to Thursday, and then people are like, oh, you are starving yourself, you know, and that's not healthy, and things like that, or you're eating too much fat. So there's a lot of these um, opinions out there, and sometimes they come from the people that we love the most. So, you know, we're just sharing me how, um, how very key my mother-in-law was, mm -hmm. okay, uh, last week. Uh, okay, I was on intermittent fasting, and I went for the gym, and I actually ran for about one hour, not run, walk for one hour on the treadmill. Uh, and for uh, the first one hour, I was actually doing some weightlifting, so I spent about 12 plus in the gym. So when uh, my mother-in-law came and we went for lunch, I refused to eat because I was still holding on to my fast and I wasn't really hungry. So she was patting here and said, hey, you have been running for in the gym for 12 hours. no, 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 one hour only. Uh, they said, hey, you better eat, you better eat, you better you're faint. Uh, so, you know, like, of course it's already half a day, so I decided to continue my fast. Uh, but for the subsequent few days, uh, when I was with her, I decided not to fast uh, because I just don't want her to worry. Yeah, so actually, your environment is better, mm -hmm. and your uh, family have to understand what is keto, what is intermittent okay. fasting all about. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's not that we are pushing ourselves to do all this, like me fasting, trying to fast for 20 hours. I'm not pushing, but would you tell me I can fast? So I just continue with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I agree with that because I have, um, I also have um, another friend who also achieved um, very good results with doing ketogenic thing she lost like seven kilos in the first two weeks but um struggling with the support from um the family you know because like we're so used to eating a lot eating a lot that when you decide not to eat or you're eating lesser or you're removing certain food you tend to get very worried for yeah people, very constant actually yeah and um you have to understand that being overweight or being diabetic these are all like um, uh, things that are caused by what we eat and what we overly eat so the point here is not having too much nutrition the point the point here is not having too little nutrition the point here is like we are all having too much nutrition and sometimes you need to reset or balance the body and one of the ways is um, probably to go on a fast to just sort of detox and let the body rest with trying to process all this food that we are um, eating so like your kidney your liver um, are doing the extra work to make sure that all the food that goes into your system are being uh, cleaned out so like uh, yeah, I mean, I faced that too when I first started. Uh, everybody around me was like saying, uh, it's so unhealthy, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's not good to not eat rice. Um, so, uh, the, the thing is sometimes you have to be motivated enough to know why you're doing it um, in order to show to your family and loved ones that you know, you're doing this for for yourself, for your health. Okay, we have completed one round. No, almost two rounds actually because at the Chinese garden area, we walk twice. And then after that, we went to the Japanese garden area. So, I have clocked in my trusty apple watch um, I've clocked in 
I don't know whether you can see that. 5,168 steps at 3.8 kilometers, which is not bad. I'm only about um, 1.7, 1 1.5 kilometers more. Then I would have reached my 5.3 kilometer target, which I'm supposed to hit today. So now we have completed Chinese Garden and we're going to go out of this park and walk to from Chinese Garden MRT to Boon Lay MRT. Yeah, which I don't know how far that is, <laughs> but I think I should be able to hit 5.3 km today and yeah, and <laughs> consider my challenge done. <laughs> So, yeah, so we are heading to the train station. Uh, but we're not taking the train, we are walking from Chinese Garden to Boon Lay, which is one station away. So, Boon Lay MRT is just one station away from Chinese Garden MRT. But we don't know how long, how far that is. So, let's go. Okay, so I was wrong. I thought Boon Lay train station is one stop away from Chinese Garden. Apparently, it's not. It's two stops, which means it's further. <laughs> which means you'll be walking longer. I'll be walking longer. Everything is okay. I'm still okay. We're still okay. Um, uh, it's just it's just been very hot. So like we we need to. I need to probably take a break and like have a sip of water or something because I'm starting to feel the. The tiredness, being six months pregnant and walking for long distance is challenging. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, I just might take a little break uh, after this before continuing to Boon Lay train station. I hope to reach Boon Lay train station by foot, okay? Like, I don't want to, like, take a bus or take a train there. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, let's see, let's go. Okay, we are at Lakeside MRT station and I have hit 5.8 kilometers since walking from Chinese Garden. There's one more station to Boon Lake MRT but I've decided to <laughs> stop <laughs> because I've already hit 5.3 km. I've, I've hit more actually. I've hit 5.8 km. And me and my infinite wisdom, I thought that today is going to be like an easy stroll, just walk in the park kind of thing. But I didn't realize that at six months, it can be quite a challenge. Um, the weather is very hot. I'm sweating. And like um, I have actually made plans with my mom to go and visit my aunt after this so I don't know <laughs> how I'm gonna go to my aunt's place with like my entire body sweating and then she wants to go out so like I don't even know why I schedule you know meeting my mom after going for a 5.3 kilometer walk and like yeah uh, and for those who's asking like why am I doing this at six months you know like isn't it going to be dangerous um, you know or unhealthy because you know we should be not be stressing our body out at you know such um, such stage in the pregnancy um, well, that's because uh, when if you walk uh, and because I'm pregnant I don't really do keto so much nowadays uh, because of the pregnancy um, so like I need to do something to also manage the diabetes and walking is one of the ways for you to increase um, your insulin sensitivity so that it helps with the blood sugar so like you know even though you eat carbs then you tend to use that as energy when you walk so and that's why I decided to do this challenge because um, you know I don't want the diabetes to be out of control just because I'm pregnancy so it's like really a very delicate balance of managing what I eat and making sure that I'm 
uh, I have proper nutrition for the baby but at the same time also uh, making sure that my diabetes is under control because I am doing this without any medication so um, even more so I have to be very um, proactive um, so like yeah and that's why like I'm walking um, with Yana today uh, like just in case some of you are asking like what am I doing why am I walking at six months things like that yeah so um, um, like I'm doing this for my health and also the health of my baby uh, yeah and I think we're going to take the train to Mule Marti and probably we're gonna find something to eat um, uh, healthy wise even <laughs> though we have walked almost six kilometers Diana I've actually walked more because she started since she, uh, she gets out of the house she walked to Chinese garden so um, yeah something healthy and nutritious after this walk <laughs>